Boy, I like it. Anytime we can grab a few minutes with our good friends from Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care, and here she is next to me. Sheila Jones, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care. Welcome back, my friend. Thanks for having me. Uh, as we always do, because you never know, people don't always watch the program. They've just moved into the area, whatever. Uh, remind us what hospice is and who you serve. Well, hospice is a special program for those who are facing a serious illness. Um, the, the most common is known as that folks have a life expectancy of six months or less, no matter what disease process. Right. Um, and we do that in North Carolina and Virginia. Um, we have about 17 counties, Surrey and Yakin County, and anything that touches that, and Carol Grayson and Patrick, and anything that touches that. So we've, it's a we've huge got a area that huge you're territory, yes. Uh, now, Wonderful territory, though, a beautiful country and mountains. Yeah, it is beautiful. Now, people have asked me before when they've, they've seen you on the show, and they'll say, you always say that there's this word palliative in the name. Mm hmm and because people begun to learn more and more about hospice care as you just explained. Palliative care is different. How does it, what is it and how does it complement hospice care? Well, palliative just simply means comfort, but we have a palliative care program separate from our hospice program. And that program is primarily focuses on folks who have something to manage. Um, maybe a patient who might have COPD, cardiopulmonary disease. That's like my that dad had need something to manage that, you know, that oxygen and, and, and being able to breathe and that kind of so thing. So there's, a, there's a, a life expectancy problem there anyway, but there they is, have something that needs to be. But it's not that, that six months or less. It's more that lengthy several yeah. years down the road. They just need help managing that, and we can do that in their home setting. Um, they can come to the clinic. There are several ways to do that. We have, you know, several providers that, that provide that care. I just think, you know, I can't really, I don't want to really go into this and make it personal because I, I, I know there's so many things you and I need to cover. But with, with my dad, you know, exactly that's the same thing with, mm -hmm. with COPD. And it went on for years and under hospice care and pal what, palliative care. And then when it came time, unfortunately uh, for him, uh, the, the hospice was already, he was already in the system mm -hmm. and, and the hospice team was ready to go. Mm -hmm. You already had a relationship. It was it's, easier. It's a relationship. And I think that's very important. One, All right, the, now, one you, of the things to remember, Jim, is that with palliative care, if you think of it like a specialty, like if you go to a oral surgeon, that's what it is. If you think we're, we're our practice, it, we can, we provide that care as a specialty. So if you just think of it like that, it's kind of easy. Absolutely. Now, I understand that uh, on, on the on the positive side here, uh, you have something going on in Sparta. What's that about? Yes, we do. I've actually was up there today. We are opening a uh, another resale shop, and we're doing that in Sparta. Um, we had some call for the, that community. They reached out to us, and we've been able to meet that need, and we're excited about that because it'll allow us to to better serve our community. Another up there. resale shop. So once that's up and going there in Sparta. The, the proceeds, when people come in and buy things that you have, and secondhand things, whatever that people mm -hmm. donate, the proceeds will help uh, hospice and palliative care how? Well, we as an agency, we're a nonprofit, 501c3. We, um, because we're that, we can accept gifts from the community and we turn around and put everything we make back into other programs like starting that palliative care program, our hospice program, our pet peace of mind program, our We Honor Veterans program, it allows us to do that. But also having a resale shop like this and having those funds coming back into that, we can say no matter what that person has going on with them, we don't turn them away based on ability to pay. Yeah. So if they show up with no insurance whatsoever, we can still care for them. We won't turn them away based on that. Right. Folks at home, don't be, I'm not going to do a commercial, but don't be fooled by some of these organizations that, you know, that are exactly. for profit because they will turn you away in a heartbeat or kick you out. And uh, I just, that's as far as I'm going to say. But anyway, the Mountain Valley Hospice and Palliative Care team is there for you. Uh, very quickly, uh, since you can do fundraising and you do various fundraising events, there's a raffle coming up? Oh, yes. It's a good time of year. Our big hospice raffle is about to happen. Um, I'm ready to get those tickets going out any day with, uh, with the help of our development department. Um, they're finalizing the prizes. Um, I've heard there's some really good things. I now, saw a now really when beautiful is, when necklace. When is this raffle? Um, we will sell probably um, end of February, um, in mid February to end of all the way to end of March, and then the, the prizes will be given away every single day in April. Okay. So you follow our Facebook page, our Instagram. We'll post things there so folks can see who wins those prizes every day. Okay. The tickets are ten dollars. There's usually about four thousand, four to five thousand dollars worth of prizes on there. Wow. Wonderful. Up on so screen, much fun. up on screen, mdmvalleyhospice.org is how you get to them to learn more about hospice or to set up an appointment for you and your family to talk with uh, Sheila's team and uh, Denise and all the great folks up there. And uh, stay tuned for that raffle, too. Thank you, dear. The raffle's fun. Yeah.